Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Cyrix instead. Today I'm going to show you my game console collection, at least my portable consoles. So, without further ado, let's get in, let's go and get started. So I guess the first one I'll show you is the first one I actually acquired. Um, is this DS Lite. So, let's move these other ones to the side. So, this is, um... It's a little beat up. It's a cobalt blue DS light, as you can see. Uh, pretty nice color. Um, it's missing the stylus, unfortunately. But um, uh, there's a couple of problems with this one. And one of them is um, if I open the battery compartment, which I'm not going to do on camera because I don't know a way to do it on camera. I only have one hand available to me. Um, but it is honestly, it almost looks like the battery has exploded. I can probably post a picture in the description of the video if you guys really want to see, but, um, because of that, it doesn't work. And I also don't have a DS Lite charger on me, um, right now. Um, surprisingly, the hinges, I don't know if you can tell, they're actually not broken on this one, so that's pretty neat. But other than that, I mean, it was the... What was the first console I actually got? It was the first one I actually got as part of a collection. Uh, it's the first one I acquired to start my collection, but um, moving on to the one, the first console I ever owned, uh, this GBA. So actually, I just reshelled this one. So um, it does say it's an AGS 001 on the sticker, but it is in fact a 101. Um, it's just struggle to open the damn thing. Um, it is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet on the screen, but. Um, so it's supposed to be glacier blue, but it, I've been told it looks more like a, um, clear gray, um, but, give you a demonstration, you can see there it's, um, it does have the AGS-101, so you can see, um, that's the normal brightness and that's the brighter brightness, um, of course it is a clear, um, thing, so, case so um, it looks pretty nice so I'll actually just show you the game and I'll just put Pokemon yellow in there quickly because I'm doing this one handed and doing it for the viewfinder so it's not that easy um, and of course this camera does not have autofocus so it's a little difficult to do but I love that But yeah, it's, it's a nice bright screen, which is definitely something that uh, you don't see on a lot. Well, you do see nowadays, but you didn't used to see that. And um, I guess I kind of just lucked out, because I actually got this new as a kid. So um, I just got the lucky and it got the AGS-101 when it was a brand new co console. But yeah, the reshell wasn't that hard. Um, the hardest part is getting the, the hinges in, which you can sort of see right there. There's, look, the hinges are like on side of the console um, but once you figure out they're keyed it's not that hard to do um, but yeah overall this is actually one of my favorite systems once my everdrive gets here I'll definitely be playing it more so it's on to the next system in our lineup of systems so the next one is actually um, the DS right here this is the original DS and just for demonstration purposes I will get out my illegal piracy device called a flash cart. Um, I'll just plug that into the to the console. Uh, yeah, the sticker's a little worn out on this one, um, but it definitely has a n interesting appeal that most of the newer systems do not have. Of course, the screens definitely aren't as bright as they are on the newer systems. So I'll just start it up and I'll put a game on. Um, I f don't know what, well, what I'm feeling like today, but I'm thinking maybe... Uh, yeah, let's go with some Tetris DS. I hope that's what I picked. So, um, yeah, and if you just want to see the brightness of the screens, if I turn this light off, you can kind of see it a little better, but uh, it kind of screws up the white balance of everything. So let's see how well I can play this one hand. I 
can't even see anything, but uh, I don't know. You probably can't even see how well the screens are in this, but they're they're okay. They're not amazing, but they're not terrible either. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for my light being in the way, but anyways, um, it's a nice handheld, and it feels good in the hand. And it's definitely not something everyone has um, anymore, especially like you know. Especially now. It's definitely not as common as the DS Lite, uh, or even the DSi. So I'd say it's definitely a, an interesting piece to have. So. Now moving on to my most recent additions to the console collection. So um, I guess I may as well just talk about the DSi first because um, that's right after the DS. So. Here's the DSi. As you can see it has it's a, it's a fairly nice looking handheld. Um, that's just the warranty sticker, the place I bought it from. Um, you probably can't read any of that, but um, it's just the FCC and you know stuff like that. So um, yeah, let's try and get this thing open. Yeah, so it has a, definitely a softer hinge than the. The only problem with this one is that the hinge is definitely a little squeaky on this one, as you can probably hear. Um, and as you can probably tell by now, the screens are significantly better on this one. So this is on, um, I think it's on 4.1. I think it might, or 1.4, 1.4.1. So the person who owned this obviously didn't really update it that much um, past where they got the system. So the, the draw of this thing was back when it was new. It had the online functionality, um, which definitely was a big draw when it came out. Um, of course, now um, that doesn't work. Um, so I can just show you though the DSi shop because they'll still connect. It just doesn't do anything ever and tell me I, I have to update, but um, I don't know why I can't update. It might be because I have a CFW on, but Oh Oh uh, that, That's new The document has moved here. Well, I wasn't expecting that An error has occurred Maybe Nintendo did take out on the servers finally, because um, it used to just give me a page of update. And if you didn't understand how this thing worked, it's actually um, just a version of the Opera browser um, that runs it. Like, actually, it works the same way on the Wii U. Or not the Wii U, the, the original Wii. Um, yeah, it just says some um, error has occurred. So actually, I don't know. Maybe that's a problem by Wi Fi? I don't know. But it used to, like, as of like a week ago, it would um, it would actually connect to a screen and tell me to update it. But I guess it doesn't anymore, which is really weird. Um, so what else is there? Well, uh, you have your picto chat. You have your um, yeah, Twilight menu is um just a homebrew app that uh, you play DS games off of there. And I have some DSi where like Dr. Mario, Brain Age, DSi Browser, which technically actually still works um, if you want, really wanted it to. Um, I might actually be able to demonstrate that, but to get out the stylus to do it. Yeah, but I guess another thing with this thing is I actually had a much better menu system than the original one. Kind of reminds me a little bit more of the Wii. Oh, I guess I just launched Brain Age. Um, <laughs> It's kind of hard to do for the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> and hopefully my shaky hands aren't being too shaky right now. Anyways, um... Yeah, but the web browser is just an offer browser, basically. I don't even know how well it works anymore, but it... It's basically just a upgraded version of the Nintendo DS browser. As you can see, it's Opera software. Um, if I go to page, uh, will Google even work? Google.com. Uh, 
404, that's an error. Well, it, it, I don't know. It's just, maybe it's just because it's a really old browser, but yeah, yeah, I can actually get Reddit up on there, but it takes so long that I'm not going to even bother. And of course, it has the cameras, which are just 0.3. They're VGA resolution. They're 0 0.3 megapixels, 640 by 480. Um, I guess I should probably put a game on, play a game on here before um, I take up too much time. So as you can see, though, the screens are significantly brighter on this one. I think, you know what, I'll just I'll show you Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for this. Hopefully I don't get copyright striked. Oh crap, I forgot. This is one of the ones that only uses like the bottom screen. So I'm just going to turn off the light just so you can kind of see. No. Apparently not. Um, anyways. You have to take my word for it that the screen quality is significantly better than it is on the original DS. Hopefully you can see now. But... Um, the speakers aren't quite as loud, but they are decent quality enough um, on this system that it really doesn't make that much of, of a difference. And it's also probably the most lightweight system out of all of them, and it's definitely a nice pocketable form factor. So, um, so that if you're going out like something, this is definitely a very portable system to take around with you. And now, as we approach the 12-minute mark, I will show you the final system. This is um, the most recent acquisition, well, as well as with the DS. So um, this is the this is the Game Boy Advance. So here's where the light's gonna be useful because I kind of need it. Um, sorry about the glare, but um, this is um, of course there's no backlight on this thing. So um, if I turn the light off, you can't see anything. Uh, so what there really is here is. Um, is um, the form factor is definitely um, a better form factor than the original one. Now mine, actually I got a deal because it was damaged because there's a massive scratch on the front screen. So I only paid like 30 bucks for it at my game store. Um, but uh, it, is, it is in great shape and I would like to do a reshell on it if they could actually find one that was high quality enough. Um, but I don't even know if I really want to. Um, but. I guess I'll put Pokemon Yellow in there just so we can see how it works. Okay. Pikachu running out the screen, now he's surfing. He's on a balloon, and now he's about to blow everyone up. Directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> Pikachu! Yeah, the buttons on this one are definitely of a mushier kind, which isn't my preferred. I kind of prefer the clickiness of the GBA and the DS and the DS Lite. Sorry about my messy desk, but it's kind of what it is. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty good system, and if I could find a backlight for it, or if I could find a, a cheap enough AGS-101 like this, but I'm not going to do it with that. Uh, if I could find one that's cheap enough and in bad enough shape, I'm, I'm probably going to do the AGS-101 mod to this system. Um, anyways, it's probably, I don't even know what time it is, it's, um, it's around almost 12.30 where I am in the night, so I... Um, should probably get to bed. Anyway, oh yeah, you can, um, enlarge the screen by pressing the L and R buttons. So, I mean, personally, I prefer just the native res, but if you like that, then whatever, you can do it. So, yeah, and, I mean, that's about it for my collection of consoles. I mean, I do have a 3DS, but I don't really count that in there, because that's not a retro console. And, I mean, you might say, well, DSi is not retro, but... It's more retro than the 3DS, in, per, in my opinion, even though, eh, I guess they're not that much older, but, you know, 
I just think that the 3DS is definitely a, uh, I'd still say a newer system because they're still in production. Um, DSi, DS Family just isn't in production anymore. But anyways, um, hope you all on YouTube enjoyed this video. Um, just share your thoughts in the comments or description, or, well, yeah, in the comments. If you like the video, you can give it a like. If you don't like the video, you can give it a dislike. Uh, because I'm so small, it doesn't really affect me either way. Um, just let me know about your thoughts on this video. I know my camera setup kind of sucks. Um, this video is actually being recorded on a Canon PowerShot A1400 HD. Um, uh, so it is 720p at the very least, but it is not a very good quality video because I can't, it doesn't have autofocus or anything in movie mode. It, it just does not have any of that feature. So, um, yeah. So hopefully by the next video, I might record it with my cell phone actually, because you can probably record a better quality video. At least it does 1080p and it can autofocus. Well, actually it can't autofocus, but I can readjust the focus on that. So. Hopefully for the next video we'll have higher quality um, content. Hope you guys enjoyed the V video, because um, I will I will update that um, as soon as I can. But yeah, so um, hope you all enjoyed your night and um, uh, good night everyone or good morning, whatever time it is. Um, for me it's night right now, so I'm probably just gonna go on my computer, upload this. Um, I'm not gonna bother editing it because I don't have time for that. Um, and yeah, so just have a nice night, people.